Shalom, shalom, shalom. Today we're talking about the messages of a judging word, how the word can judge. Because a lot of times people will say this scripture, you can't judge me, you know, you're going to be judged with the same measure if you judge me. And that's true. And they are right about that. Because some people try to judge people. They're so religious and they start judging them. But we're, today we're talking about a judging word. But we're also talking about a thing. There's a difference between judging a person and judging a thing. What is a thing? Sometimes it's a spirit in a person. So there's a person that's not being religious. They're very spiritual. And they're judging the thing in the person. Whether it's a demon. Uh, whether it's some evil possession in them. Or, or you know, it could be something that, that, that needs to be healed. Or something like that. But it's just that you got people so religious sometimes and not spiritual. I gave a message on that. The difference between being spiritual and being sensual. You know what I mean? Like analytical. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being analytical. But, but some people are sensual. And they think they're seeing something deep in the spirit. And it's just something that's common sense or common logic to the naked eye of anyone. You know, so there's a difference when you have the Holy Ghost. You got to go back over my messages. I've talked about the power of the Holy Ghost. I've talked about those that blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, the Bible says there's no forgiveness. A lot of times people, oh, they be jumping up and down in church. I, I went in the scriptures of how David was praising before the Lord. There's a reason for it. I went through the scriptures of Psalm 150 that says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And there's times when we just worship. Hallelujah. I went through all of that. I went through baptisms and uh, the different types. See, some people, you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. You got to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. You got to be, you know, and how some people were baptized in the name of Jesus, but they didn't have the Holy Ghost until the apostles laid hands. You know, so some people were, you know, baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and they had power. Some people were just baptized in John's baptism. And that's why he asked them in, in Acts, the 19th chapter, have you received the Holy Ghost since he first believed? The people was like, we never heard of the Holy Ghost. So it's it's through the Bible and it shows, you know, because some people, do I have to be baptized? Is it water immersion? Well, I discussed that. You got to go back in the messages about baptism. But today I'm talking about a judging word, of judging how the word judges. Because a lot of times uh, somebody deep and spiritual could be around a person. And, they, you know, just in conversation, they'll feel like, I don't like him or I don't like her or whoever because they're trying to judge me. They're so, you know, they want them churchy people and they don't really know. I know what they're talking about because some people, they, they have a religious spirit and it annoys me too. Like I was talking about before in the scriptures when Paul said he saw the people dancing around this rock and they wrote on the rock to the unknown God, unknown God. And he said, let me bring to you who this is because he said he worship what you know not. I see you have a religious spirit. You know what I mean? Because the people was just, hey, and didn't was not brought to the truth. So, but anyway, today we're talking about judgment. Of course, but the Bible says judgment starts first at the house of God. Okay, and it starts with His people. Uh, you got to look at uh, the message I just brought out before this one called Messiah's property, where I discussed all of the my people. You know, because He has the people. I brought out the very scripture that discusses that. Okay, but anyway, today we to, right now we're talking about. A judging word. A judging word. I want to get through this. So if you have your Bibles, show them to you. If you have your Bibles, go to Matthew uh, chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Scripture you know. Okay, I'm going to breeze through it. If you don't, if you can't go, you know, as fast. Or you can't even with your tablets or phones or whatever application you're using, a platform or whatever. But anyway, we're talking about a judging word. Matthew chapter 7. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? So in other words, you judging your brother because he had a little speck of wood in your eye, but yet you got this big old beam hanging out yours, a telephone pole, and you going to try to judge somebody. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. See what I'm saying? So get that out of your eye. So that's so I want because that's the scripture people say a lot. I mean, I mean, I'm going somewhere. Let's go to First Corinthians chapter two. I want to prove something to you. There's a difference between judge because some people are not judging you. Some people are deeply spiritual and they see something, a thing. So let's go to First Corinthians and. Yeah, first Corinthians. 
chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And let's go down to verse 10. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things. Mm, hallelujah. Yea, the deep things of God. See, these are the spiritual people. I gave a message. I tell you, there's a difference between spiritual and just people that are sensual. The Bible said the sensual are devilish. That's not, they don't really have a spirit. But anyway, we're talking about a judging word. Because we want to be able to dif differentiate when somebody's trying to judge somebody, which they shouldn't be doing, or if they're deeply spiritual and they're judging the thing in the person. You know, it could be the, an evil spirit or something that the person. So let's let's break that down. I'm in First Corinthians chapter 2. I just read verse 10. I'm at verse 11 now. For what man knoweth the things of a man? Mm. What man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? See, I'm talking about spirit part. Even so, the things of God, things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. See, it's not worried about the man, the flesh, but the spirit. Hallelujah. That's why when a person dies, their flesh go in the dirt and he just wants the spirit. Amen. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. So be it. Amen. So be it. So be it. Hallelujah. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. Mm, hallelujah. But the spirit which is of God. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Which things also we speak. Not in the words which a man's wisdom teacheth. But which the Holy Ghost teacheth. I'm reading out the Bible. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Okay, so it's not no fleshly, I'm analytical, I'm sensual. They look like, no, we're talking those that have the Holy Ghost. Okay, that's what we're talking about. That speak new tongues and things like that. And I discussed that in the previous messages. We have to go back a few, you know. But you do have some people that's then just being entertainment and phony with things. And that discourages those that might want to learn more about the scriptures and, and have the Holy Ghost. That discourages them because they see folk, as soon as the organ goes, eh, they already, ah, you know, they going into something before that they, they, the spirit even fall. You know, and, and people, this is a real world now. People can see through that. And, they, and that turns them off. And it sometimes turns them away from the true spiritual things. But then anyway, we talking about a judging word. We in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, I'm down now to 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. The natural man. Hmm. So we said spiritual things were spiritual. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. See, because that, that's why they be saying, oh, them people are all spirit. They, they, you know, and, and see, it's foolishness to him, and neither can he know them. Because the Holy Ghost, the spirit of the Messiah, the Most High, El, El Yon Elohim, he is not going to even impart it to somebody that's an unbeliever or, until you repent and tarry for it. As I talked about in previous messages, sometimes the bishop, the elders, the church mothers, the evangelists, the deacons, they would get around and make you tarry. This is old time church. They would, they would be around you praying and worshiping and tarrying till you receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm about to, oof. anyway, all right. First Corinthians chapter two. Uh, that's what I want to verse 14 again but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God he can't receive them for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned you have to have the spirit we just be reading it but he that is spiritual First Corinthians chapter 2 I'm out now down to verse 15 but he that is spiritual judgeth all things the Bible says yet he himself is judged of no man so you can't just, because we're talking things of the spirit for who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. So you don't, we don't know the mind of the Lord. So that's the natural man cannot, can't get it. So we're talking about, there's a difference between judging somebody and judging the thing. Okay. Now let's go to Matt, back to Matthew this time. Let's go to, I want to bring it out. I want to bring it out. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. This is how it is in the Holy Ghost touch. Matthew 7, 9, we're not supposed to speak tongues unless there's an interpreter, but I, I'm sorry. That unction came. And sometimes it's just for someone to bear witness that's an unbeliever. Matthew chapter 17, verse 14. Matthew chapter 17, verse 14. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son. For he is a lunatic and sore vexed, 
For oft times he falleth into the fire, and oft times into the water, often into the water, often into the fire. He's, he's brought his son, he's saying, my son is like going crazy, the lunatic, like a tick of the moon. People used to stare at the moon back in the days. And uh, but he's saying, this is what his son is like. And he's saying, listen, please, Lord, heal my son. I'm in Matthew chapter 17. I'm now down to verse 16. And I brought him unto thy disciples, and they could not cure him. See, the disciples couldn't do it. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, why could not we cast them out? They wanted to know why we couldn't work that power to cast out the devil. Listen what Jesus said, because we're talking about the thing. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. This kind. He's talking about a thing. So he wasn't judging. Did, did the Lord sit there and say, that little boy is, mm, and start judging him? No, he didn't start judging him. It wasn't the thing. But he that is spiritual judge of all things, he saw a thing. So I'm, this is just a message to people that sometimes feel like they're being judged. Sometimes somebody is so full of the anointing and glory and if filled with the glory of the Lord, because no flesh of glory in his presence, that power of the Holy Ghost in the person sometimes make a person feel like they're judging me every time they come around. And nobody's judging them. It's just the fact that darkness can't dwell with light. And if you're in the things of darkness, that's probably why you, it, this is no agreement. How can two walk together unless they agree? There's no concord with Christ and Belial. You know, there's no concord with Christ and these other religions and doctors. I don't care how many lies they teach you. And, oh, it's going to be one religion and it's going to be one book. We're going to match them all into one. The devil is a liar. Okay, so, and I went into messages about all that. But today's message is about... Um, you know the judge judging now let's let's go to john now so now you see the difference between when your spiritual person is judging the, the working thing that entity in a person that might might like i said it might need to be cured it might be somebody with a demonic spirit it might be somebody with any a multitude of spirits different kind of spirits but let's go to john uh chapter 12 and we're still talking about the judgment we talk about the judgment between what well, people be trying to judge people on purpose and that's not right because they'll be judged with the same measure we brought that out and we brought out those that are really spiritual, that really had the Holy Ghost, not sensual people. Because the Bible says sensual people, that's of the devil. They're just sensual. They don't have the Holy Ghost. But let's go to John chapter 12, verse 44. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. Oh, we now in that Trinity thing again. Here we go. You seeth him that sent me. So they witnessed the Messiah. Okay, and we describe what the Messiah looked like, hair like wool. He didn't have his long hair walking up a grass hill, to, you know, and the, from pictures and images that, that you have lied to the people. We talked about who his people were. Go back into some of the messages. We bring down, break down the scriptures. John 12, I read 44, John 12, 45. And, and he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Mm. And if any man hear my words and believe not, if you hear the words and believe not, I judge him not. See, the Messiah said, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me, rejecteth me and receiveth not my words, hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day when the book of life is open. See, the word judges people. So, sometimes we're so full of the word, but don't always feel like somebody's trying to judge you. Because they're spiritual. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. So I just wanted to break down the difference of when somebody's judging you and that's wrong. And when somebody is spiritual and judging the thing. All right. Shalom.